Turned out to be a gorgeous summer afternoon from downtown Toledo. We're looking toward the Maumee River on our fifth third to bank camera. And as we go through the evening, skies are going to continue to clear out. And eventually tonight, we're going to be totally clear for much of the evening and expecting lows tomorrow morning back close to 60 degrees. How about this for a late summer day? 83 degrees north northwest winds 10 miles per hour. Dew points still up in the lower 60s and we'll see a little bit of a decrease again into tomorrow in that humidity level. One thing you are noticing is summer begins to fade away on us. Here we are in late August, our sunset time at 823. And by the time we reach the end of the month of next week, we're going to be down to 808 for that sunset time and losing over two and a half minutes of daylight each and every day as we go through late August. It's a nice mix though of upper 70s to right around the lower 80s, 80 in Monroe, 75 in Marblehead, 78 Port Clinton, 77 in Tiffin, Ottawa, Napoleon and Defiance. You are all at 81 degrees. Now we do have dry weather on Doppler radar. There's a few isolated showers over the Lake Erie shore. But over the course of the weekend, not only did we have widespread rainfall and storms, but we had numerous reports of funnel clouds across the area reporting as early as Sunday afternoon. There were weak funnels, cold air funnels. There was not a risk of any tornadoes and a very limited risk that any of those funnels would ever even come close to the ground. But numerous reports out there toward Macomb had a great report and a picture sent in to us courtesy of the Great Lakes Storm Chasers. And look at this very thin, narrow funnel that extending from the base of the cloud. Cool sites that we're seeing right here across Northwest Ohio. But how about sites that are out of this world? Send it over to meteorologist Matt Wilby. <laughs> Matt, I'm just amazed by the images that have been coming in on the James Webb Telescope. Tell us more about this. Yeah, Chris, we exactly. We got more photos that will be coming in throughout the next pretty much a few months and even years. But we have our most detailed view of Jupiter so far. And these pictures are absolutely I have, like outstanding out there. And just to give you a pretty much a total of what we're seeing out there. So the northern aurora in with these pictures just into the north part of the planet and just the southern aurora just into the southern part. And you may be wondering, well, isn't Jupiter a little bit more redder? Well, yes, they did put a infrared filter to show you those details. And also you may have seen in textbooks this little dot right here is actually a I actually an anti cyclonic uh, storm that's actually the twice twice the size of the Earth. So definitely a huge, massive storm that we saw on Jupiter, but definitely won't see any unearthly uh, temperatures or any unearthly conditions right back here at home. Right, Chris? Matt, one more second here. Point that out again for me. That little spot on Jupiter. This little, little spot right there. <laughs> is twice the size of our entire Earth, and it is one exactly. massive storm on the uh, surface of Jupiter. Yes, yes, it is. It is absolutely insane. And uh, this do a little research and I saw some of with this storm. You may see some winds up to 270 miles wow. per hour with this. That is that is just intense out of this world, Matt. Very much uh, appreciate you sharing that information coming in from that James Webb telescope. Tomorrow morning, we're back at the upper 50s for a bit of a cool start to the morning to right around 60 degrees. The afternoon, an ideal day back into the lower 80s. Lower humidity will continue and another beautiful day on Wednesday will be right around the mid to upper 80s. Typical summer weather in late August. Mostly clear tonight. Cool little patchy fog possible south and east of Toledo. We're down to 60 for the overnight low tonight. Your Tuesday looks outstanding. Dry and pleasant 83 degrees and your 10 day forecast has the mid 80s showing up Wednesday and Thursday. Could even edge toward the upper 80s for some areas on Thursday. Likely to stay dry the entire work and school week. Friday 84 then the heat builds into the weekend. Look towards Sunday, we head right around 90 degrees and another 90 degree day possible into Monday with some scattered showers and storms. Not until after the weekend into early next week.